welcome back to a new vlog today is friday afternoon well evening actually it's past eight and i thought i'd start the vlog quite late i don't know why <laughs> i'm a little cuckoo today but um i am making a banana loaf with a little bit of chocolate chip so it's again the same thing but i'm not gonna put chocolate chip on top and i only put a little bit in because i felt like the last time the chocolate chips just overpowered this entire loaf so i'm gonna put it in the oven and um let's hope for the the best yum 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 oh it's hot So while that is going, I'm just gonna pack away some of these those hot veggies because of course it's working in night shift. Yes, on a Friday. It's been working night shift, Wednesday, Thursday night, and then tonight as well. So it's just me with my own company. I actually like being alone at night. I don't know why. It's because when Cosy comes home, he just is a chatterbox. He talks for hours and hours and hours. And I don't get to have that conversations because I don't work with people, but he does. So he always tells me all of these things that happens at work. But I'm going to clean this mess up quickly. And then I am watching Tyler Perry's A Medea Homecoming. I'm almost done. There's about 20 minutes left. Oh, word. The laundry is like laying there. I just have to fold it. So I'm just going to spruce up the kitchen quickly. Oh my gosh Looks so good. I'm gonna take it out now and then I'm a little cool. But the new thing I'm watching <laughs> is one of us is lying and it's based on a book that I actually read. Let me just see it fine and quickly. Where's this book? There we go. <sighs> one of us is lying. I didn't even know it was coming out as a series. I only saw it on Netflix. So I suggest you read the book first before you, if you're a book person, before you watch the Netflix series. While I was playing, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember. But she has quite a bit of books. Um, Cardin McManus. Because uh, I read The Cousins as well, as you can see. And she's got others as well. But yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks so good and it smells so good as well. Mm -mm -mm. Still nice and warm. Mmm, it's super moist in the inside. Good morning. It is Sunday today and oh my god, it's just after 11 o'clock. So, it's a scorch of a day today in Cape Town. I think yesterday was 31, 32 and today is about 36, 37. But I wanted to go to the beach today and specifically Claremont Beach. You know, that's our favorite because I haven't gone over the festive season. But, we're going to walk me up at 10 o'clock. So, I'm like... Dude, what's the time? It's like, no, it's 10 o'clock. I thought you wanted to sleep in. I said I never wanted to sleep in. I would have told you. So it doesn't make sense for us to go. But we decided we are just going to go to Edmond and take a drive and then maybe just grab lunch there. <laughs> Um, normal Monday meeting per usual. It's lunchtime now. <laughs> I swear, like in a blink of an eye, you know, it's lunchtime again. But I don't, I thought I saw that frozen fry. It doesn't look like it. 
So I think I'm just gonna have some of this built on pasta salad before it goes off. Let me see what else is it to eat. Oh, I always buy the same jam, but I bought the salami. Oh, and it's so good. Woo! And I was eating this giant pretzel nut. Let me just put this water away. Putting it over here. Look at those vitamins. And I thought this hit us enough. I don't know. Last night's headache, it didn't work, eh? I don't know. Maybe it's only like light headaches where it works. And then when it's like really big ones that make me sick, probably doesn't work. I see these people moving in here. Just buy a bus. So, you know, I don't have any action in my life. They're so, like moving in. And I'm like watching them through the window. But um, yeah, let me have some lunch and watch something on TV. Good morning. <laughs> I'm having a good laugh because it is my 10th year high school reunion on Saturday, 12 years later. So I was recreated in 2010 and then we were supposed to have our reunion in 2020, but for obvious reasons we couldn't. And so a lot of people still wanted to have the reunion, so it's on Saturday. I've tried to look for old pictures because I'm asking for old pictures of like our time. But I went through, I think, the file and I was like laughing at some of it. But there's a lot of people who don't have old pictures because it was such a long time ago and I only could find four pictures. But yeah, I'm very excited for it. Like, I'm gonna see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time. I think there's one person that. I really hope we see and it was a really good friend of ours when I say ours I mean me and my friend carried on because we are still really good friends and I really hope we see I don't know this morning can you hear the washing going because we put the laundry on and then went to work so I have to hang it out which I hate when he does that it's half past eight I still need to eat though um, so I'm gonna eat quickly take my pull and then I've got a long list of stuff that I have to have done today a lot of stuff and then I need to record my budget video I haven't done a budget video in a very very long time I think the last one I did was in November last year so you know I'm gonna get that back up and running <music> this week has flown by so fast but i'm actually glad that the week is going by extremely fast because i don't know i just like love for the weekends which is weird i just called courtney because my prescription well this the, my pull is done my high back pressure pull is almost done and then i have enough of my iron pulls until the end of this month so that's fine but i want to see if you can get my prescription and then it was it's raining this morning but it's like that summer day where it's still humid i'm getting hot but i need to change this bedding it's it's been been a few weeks <laughs> i want to do that quickly this morning before i start work and then oh, just other thing i need to do I think I might just give a bathroom a spruce because this weekend is my reunion and I don't want to do chores over the weekend. Is there anything else I need to do? I'm going to check if that washing is done or dry. But just a quick question. Is any one of you at this point where you're just getting bored of social media? I'm honestly just so bored of it. It is not exciting anymore. It's... It's just not fun. I'm just struggling to post and come up with captions and I don't know, maybe it's just this phase that I'm in. But it's not 
what it used to be it's not like oh my word i want to go on social media i'm like i'm at this point where i'm like do i have to go on social media i prefer like these video chats and talking to the camera versus making all of these huta huta trying to find a picture trying to find a caption i mean obviously my travel ones so if i go to a specific town it's easier because then i can tell you about the town what you can do in the town but for the most part i don't travel a lot which reminds me i booked our first camping trip in the next two weeks that's gonna be fun um and it's gonna be in citrus Dal. we've only ever driven in citrus Dal, and i think we did one pit stop in citrus Dal. so this is gonna be a 91st town that we're gonna be exploring just so that Put that as a side note let me know if you are also not feeling social media anymore and that that phase is slowly like wearing down because i am just like not in it <laughs> i should have showed you but i'm making a bacon and cheese bread i don't know i used tonic water <laughs> instead of soda water i don't know we're gonna have to see how this plays out if it's gonna taste nice if the consistency is gonna be nice and there's cheese, I put mozzarella cheese on. I'm gonna let this sit for about 35 minutes and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It smells amazing. I really hope it's great because i did use tonic water though it is friday today and i've yet to wash my face i'm still in pajamas i think it's only what's the time it's five or seven i had to get my like prescription stuff i still have of my iron pills which can last me for another month holy crap these two alone cost me 300 rand so you tell me it's probably 150 each and then if i had to get the iron pills the iron pills are like 300 and something there decided i'm not doing that to myself the pills can still last until the end of march so yeah this is not what i expected in terms of like adding that to my budget but i am almost halfway through this book which is opposite of always i'm gonna read until half past seven and then i'm only on page 51 with this book it's very poetically written so it's taking me a while to get to grips to understand the book i know she writes a lot of short stories and poetry so it's just taking me a little while because i'm not used to poetry books <laughs> get lost in a great book and this is one that I certainly got lost in and if you're looking for a great fiction book I definitely recommend it. I know this is the first time I'm speaking to you today. Kuti and I went to work this morning, it's Saturday, and then we went to the shops quickly as you saw. And now I am dressed for my 10 year high school reunion 12 years later. Because <laughs> I matriculated in 2010, but obviously, I remember in the beginning of 2020, they started planning our, you know, our 10 year reunion, and then obviously COVID happened. So we postponed it till now, and I'm so excited. I'm going to my friend Keron, because she lives close to our high school, and so the two of us are gonna go together, and then Courtney is gonna hang out with her husband um, until Keron and I are done with our seeing people. I thought Courtney I might get a, a second husband there, but. <laughs> then I'm going for the second wife. <laughs> No, the guys in my school weren't that great. I don't know what they look like now. So, anyway, it's gonna be fun to see some people. There's one person in particular, my kid on, and I want to see because we haven't seen him inside. He was part of our friend circle, the three of us were always together. And then I think after my 21st, he kind of disappeared. So, we're hoping that he will be there. Let's go! Good morning, it is after 10 o'clock. Good and I got home just after 12 from the reunion. Well, my reunion, he was at Keron. You and Keron's husband were together. But the reunion 
was so nice i wish there was a lot more people that came but to be realistic you know it was 12 years later people overseas who are other parts of, of south africa yeah it was just a handful of us to work. it would have been so nice to see some of the other people that were with us on school but it was nice to see the ones that were there because we haven't seen them in a long time it was always just going on and i very much still together got a little bit out of hand <laughs> you know when the alcohol starts being consumed how other other ball game but as i said that it was very nice i could on i left at like almost 11 and the party was still going we were supposed to go and walk on the promenade but i think we came home so late if we just didn't feel like it so courtney went to go and cut his hair and then i asked him to go to lumino so get me some eclairs but now i am just gonna finish this book i really want to finish this book today because i really need to start a new one i've been in such a reading slump for the last like week and a half and then I was like, oh, I just need to finish these because I have such a big stack of books that I still have yet to do. I'm gonna lay in bed. I told Courtney I'm not gonna make food. I'm not gonna do anything today. So he said he's fine with that. Because I just haven't been feeling well. It feels like I have joint pain in my hand. And obviously I've been complaining about what's going on with my hand. So I told Courtney I'm gonna actually just make another appointment with a doctor on Friday because I think I might have joint pain. I don't know, maybe it's the choice of turning 30. I don't know, maybe it's because I have an unhealthy lifestyle. Who knows? Good morning! Today is Monday and yesterday was a rough. I was sitting in bed for most, I actually slept most of the of Sunday away. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older that it's taking me a lot more to recover from like a night out. But I was literally in pajamas and then Courtney made us lunch um, and then I ended up falling asleep again and next thing I know Courtney is sick. So for the rest of like the evening, just throw up everywhere. Sorry if it was too much information, but yeah, Courtney was really sick. I, I think it was the red wine he was drinking and it was so funny because I kept telling him throw that red wine away. It's like this box red wine because something was just off about it and he was like, no, you don't throw wine away and I get it. But sometimes when you smell something is off or doesn't smell right to you don't eat it or drink it or whatever so he ended up being very very sick he's at home today so he's gonna work on my nerves but i've made an appointment for the doctor for him for this afternoon i need to make an appointment at my gp because of my own situation i just think there's something really wrong i got a meeting in about 15 minutes yeah the book that i'm reading i finished opposite of always yesterday because i only had a few pages left so the book i'm reading is the moment of lift by melinda gate i really want to prioritize reading a lot more non-fiction books because i do want to i just feel like non-fiction books just make you think a lot more obviously i do have a stack of fictional books that i need to go through but yeah i think i'm gonna start reading a lot more um non-fiction books especially about just political stuff i just feel like I, i'm lacking in that knowledge or in that it's genre but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i know it's again as always always over the place i'm not feeling too great that like, there's a thing on my eye and god it's like it's steady so i'm gonna put some eye drops in i feel like every vlog um that you guys are watching has some sort of like health related thing of me or courtney <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, yet subscribed I do have two more travel videos coming up. So I'm going to start working on those. So if that is your cup of tea, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>